the only one! a clean ass tank type of Oh, I'm fall. I was just admiring my merch. What's good, y'all? Welcome back. Hey, to some more Dengar Rumpa 2. Goodbye, despair. We already know what's going on. Trial 4, case 4, resumed. Hello. I hope your day is well. I'm trying to force myself to be more energetic or else my mental state won't be able to keep up. Every time Mon and me get on the screen and wanna talk with this monologue, it's in the middle of a trial and it has nothing to do with the trial. We've all been there. We all want more energy. That's the whole point of surviving. Eat better, work out more, and get you get you some of this in you. Here, Mon and me, drink some. Mon and me, drink some before I, all right. Maybe she did drink some. I might as well have a laid back, so what attitude and go ahead with high energy. I don't what, know what you're talking about. Yeehaw! You on Banyan. Ah, but be careful that your batteries don't run out for various reasons. You know what? I'm clowning her right now, but she's low key talking directly to me. Okay, I see that because she knows, you know, haven't she noticed that I've been on this daily upload streak and she don't want it to end because. She's an easy game viewer. And just like I say each time, don't forget to save frequently. All right. And right back. We're right back at it like a bad habit. If you want something better, go grab it. I, I never expected the funhouse itself to be the ultimate weapon. At this point, Chiaki, you just got to expect the unexpected. That, that's no big deal. Oh, well, let's just press on ahead. <laughs> exactly that, that's exactly why your booty get eight is it really all right to accept a situation so easily i mean that's not what's important the thing that's really important is what the killer who used the building structure like who's mekumaru's murderer that is mainly important absolutely look at all these dead folk in their little posts bro golly but is it really okay to believe the building is the weapon? Nagito said it, you know. That's a fact. We can't really trust bro right now. He he kind of on his... He, I don't know. He, he been on his... I did cover up a burp right there. He was on his chill vibe, but now we seen him on his kill side. Ugh. There's no way I'd lie at such an important moment. I don't want to die either. Fair enough. Let's do look at his palm like he... Oh, man. I got the hiccups, bro. What happened to the bastard who kept saying how much they didn't mind dying? He's right. There was a time when I thought I could become a stepping stone for your hopes. Yeah, bro, you was... But what? I will sincerely retract that remark. This dude feeling himself a little too much lately, bro. Like, somebody need to knock him off his high horse, bro. Retract? Ain't no retraction when you around, baby girl. I'm gonna let you know right now. What's finna retract? You mean expand, bitch? <laughs> if this was a murder for the sake of hope, I'd happily sacrifice myself. <laughs> you say such falsehoods per usual. Gunnam stay trying to roast somebody. There's dude. no such thing as murder for the sake of hope. Murder is simply murder. Gundam, offer a point. Offer like a suggestion, bro. Like you can't just critique 24 7 without offering anything beneficial yourself people just shut you down forcibly sacrificing others for one's own desires even one as diabolical as i would avoid such actions as i i see it's fine let's just leave him alone and find out who killed coach nekomaru as fast as we can even when you mad Even when you mad. Just so you know, it's not like I'm getting hungry or anything, you know. Look at look at Spike Artist though. You didn't have to put them two drops underneath her thumbs, bro. You didn't have to do that, bro. But I'm glad you did. 
Uh, Akane, you are drooling waterfalls? What are we talking about? Nagito. As usual. I can't tell what he's thinking. I have no idea if he's serious or not. Anyway, if the killer used the building structure, why don't we think about how they used it? They threw that big old pillar on his body. What do you mean? It might be better if we clarify the cause of death first, don't you think? Nekomaru's cause of death, huh? Golly. He was horribly damaged as if he was beaten senseless with the blunt object. But if he was beaten with the blunt object, it wouldn't be a kill that utilized the building structure. It wouldn't be the blunt object, period, because it had no oil on it. So, what was Nekomaru's cause of death that also utilized the building structure? Dead battery has nothing to do with the structure. Crushed by elevator. If he was crushed by the elevator, we wouldn't see any of his body parts. He would just look like a flat, like, I don't know, like Looney Tunes ass death, bro. Beaten with a blunt, no. And falling. I see. You gotta explain that That's one. It? I think he might have died from falling. Died from falling? Okay, because that kind of explains the wire now. I'm sitting up here thinking, when are they going to bring in the wire? If the funhouse's secret is that it's a structure where both towers and houses are vertically connected. Haji, you ain't even got to say all this, bro. Say the wire, bro. Listen to me. Then the killer made use of its height and caused Nekomaru to die from falling. Or you could, son, you could, okay, okay. I see what you're doing there, okay. Are you saying they pushed him off? Where'd they push him off from? Akane. That's what I'm saying. Your character is all breasts. Like, I'll be honest. It's not brains. It's not thoughts. It, it might be betrayal. I Did I say thoughts, man? It's not brains. It's not... It's not... What's the B word for thoughts? It's not brains. It's not brainstorming. It's, it's not... That, I don't know yet. Sometimes I watch these videos back and I'm like, Golly, are you this backed up? You need to, like, go out. You need to go on Tinder somewhere. Get you some ladies in your life. You shouldn't be acting like this over Big Bosom Akane. Yet here I am. Don't just make things up when you don't know the method. I'm good. I'll figure it out. Where in that building would you even be able to push someone off in the first place? Is he talking to Haji? It might be possible in the tower. Was he just talking to Haji like that? You could push him off the fourth floor when the elevator is on the first floor. That's a genius. I never actually got a full. Okay, okay, okay. Did you forget how the that side profile hit different. I'm done when though. It's on the first floor. I'm done. The door on the fourth floor won't open. Did you forget how the elevator functions? When it's on the first floor, the door on the fourth floor won't open. <laughs> Saying he died from falling is truly incorrect. You should burn in the flames of hell. Yo, I know a lot of y'all, anytime I say something foul about Gundam, y'all be in the comments like, how dare you talk about my favorite character? Like, yo, f*** Gundam, bro. This dude, this Jimmy Neutron hairstylist, fat, feci, doodle, haircut to the side swoop, always has something dis disrespectful to say to me, but never offers any solution, bro. He said, I should burn in the, I should burn in the flames. Why is it that I have to burn in flame when I'm the only one offering water? Offer some water. None of us have to burn. That's exactly why you got to watch. Bro, are my effects on? This is exactly why you have to watch who you take information and criticism from, bro. I'll be damned if I let a nigga say something crazy to me, criticizing me, but has absolutely zero to offer other than criticisms. That's exactly when you get mushed in a like it like like virtually this is what I'm doing when I hear a nigga like Gundam it slide into my messages or my DM or my on my mentions. Oh, you got something to say? Okay. Oh. <laughs> Damn, that's exactly what I'm saying about this mic stand, bro. He really just He really just cracked me in the fucking jaw. Hmm, but my gut is going crazy right now. What I said about Gundam still stand. Niggas still get blocked. Even if I gotta take a punch to the face, still get blocked. 
If Nekomaru died from falling, where did the killer shove Nekomaru from? The top floor. If I'm going to reach the truth behind this incident, I need to solve that mystery next. Oh, don't mind me. I'm just... Don't mind me. I'm just drinking an invisible beverage. Good the night, button. On hold on, hold on, hold on. I know he had the butt on the back of his neck. That's the... I thought that was a self-destruct this whole time. That's how... Oh, okay, I, I thought about this button wrong. A button on the back of Nekomaru's neck. When this button is pressed, all of Nekomaru's functions cease. And he is forced to enter sleep mode. There was never a button that he pushed and he just exploded like that. So this explosion isn't the... Okay, I've been thinking about it all wrong. Y'all didn't even make me feel like an idiot last time for that. That just shuts him off. All right, cool. You can't go through the door on the fourth floor. Hmm. It'd be impossible to shove off the victim from up there. It'd be imp then, okay. How about this? After locking Mekamaru inside the elevator, uh -huh. they moved the elevator from the fourth floor to the first floor and made use of the drop. Okay. Hold on. Did you forget the elevator has a sensor? As long as there's a moving object inside. That's it. The other door Fine. won't open. Which means the elevator wouldn't have moved either. That must be the threshold of that elevator. Okay. That this is easy enough. Um, that's the contradiction, is when the last the one. Is on the, you can't go through the door, it'd be impossible. But I'm wondering when are we gonna start talking about this wire? We're really? like make use of the Hold on. Did you as long as there's a moving object inside. Give me that. Easy word. No, that's wrong. No, that's wrong. Let's go. That sensor should only work if something is moving. If Nekomaru wasn't moving inside, the elevator sensor wouldn't have detected anything. Could it be his sleep mode? Right, let's go, Sonya. I don't know if I should give you a let's go, Sonya, because you're still kind of acting. Let me make sure everything's recording. You're still kind of acting like you're surprised we're catching you in each of these like situations like you're always surprised when we answer the read the the contradictions like when nekomaru's goodnight button is pressed all of his functions shut down and he enters sleep mode if he's in sleep mode the elevator sensor wouldn't have noticed him right i see so that's how i see so that's how that's the mess more of his voice However, even if they moved the elevator in that manner, Nekomaru would have just moved along with it. There would have been no drop for him to fall and die from. Yes? Fair enough. That's what I was about to explain before Kazuichi interrupted me. Silence, pest! Now you're calling me a pest? I still don't like looking at that one, bro. A way to create the drop inside the elevator while Nekomaru is still in it. Chiaki seems to have an idea, but what way could that be? Please not, oh my gosh. The wire, I hope it's the wire, bro. Chain, wire, broken doorknob, oil on a, okay. If you arrange it a certain way. The pillars? You can cause the drop within the elevator. So you're telling us all to think about the arrangement, right? That arrangement is... The hammer is suspicious. No. Isn't it about time we went over the pillar again? They both are throwing us off what with that bow. The oil on the floor? The oil on the floor? No. The doorknob on the floor seems suspicious. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking is the doorknob. How about we all shut up and listen to what Chiaki has to say? Fair enough. Silence, pest! She the killer, bro. The way she acting. Don't be so cold. What if I start to enjoy it? Nigga, freak a league, bro. Hold on. I think it has to do with the door because remember, the tower rotates 180. So maybe they tied him up to the door, or maybe he was holding on to the door and then let go. I don't know. I, I'm 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 kind of. Grasping for straws, but hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me take a look real quick.
A chain was wrapped around the handles of the door at the back of Grape. Do they have an illustration we can look at? How, you, how are you not going to give me an illustration of what we're talking about? I want to say it's the broken doorknob. I don't know how, but I'm going to make it. I'm just going to use it. If you arrange it a certain way, you can cause the drop within the elevator. So you're telling us to think about the arrangement. That arrangement? The hammer is suspicious. Isn't it about time? What about the oil on the floor? The doorknob on the floor seems suspicious. Crap! If you arrange it a certain way, you can cause the drop within the elevator. So you're telling us all to think about the arrangement, right? You can cause a drop that in the elevator. The hammer is suspicious, isn't it about time? What about the oil on the floor? The door not I'm going to take the I'm pillar and shoot it at what Yaki is saying so, first. What if I start to enjoy it? If you arrange it, you can cause the drop. So you're telling to think about the arrangement. That arrangement. The hammer is suspicious. Isn't it about time we went over the pillar again? So I can't even use what that. About the oil on the floor. The doorknob on the floor seems suspicious. How about we all shut up? Silence! Joe, what if I start to enjoy it? Okay, I'm gonna take what Yaki said and shoot it at the blue one. To think about the arrangement. That arrangement. The hammer is suspicious. Isn't it about time? What about the oil? Come on. The doorknob on the floor Come on. seems suspicious. Come on! I agree. I thought I was wrong. I was finna be... Nigga. I, yeah, because I wanted to agree with him. I'm like, yes, Didn't the doorknob is suspicious. Grape marks on it? That's right. Here we go. Let's talk about it. That might have been where it got scraped by the wire. That doorknob is not big enough to hold a big ass. Maybe that's the point, though. Maybe that's the point, though. You don't want Nekamaru big ass to be able to hold there forever. Is that the same wire that was tied around Nekamaru? The tip of that wire was tied into a loop. He was hanging from the doorknob. Hold on, though. We got to watch how Sonya reacts to this moment. If the elevator moved while that loop part hung from the doorknob... Uh-huh. If, if they did something like that, he would have been suspended in midair. That's right. He was suspended in midair. Huh? The killer tied up Mekamara with the wire while he was in sleep mode. Tied the tip of the wire into a knot and hung it on the doorknob to the fourth floor. With that, they moved the elevator from the fourth floor to the first floor of Grape Tower. Thank you for the demonstration. And suspended Mekamaru in midair. Okay. Look at this visual. Look at the little loop on the freaking doorknob, bro. And Nekamaru just big body sleep. Like, he don't wait tons of fun. That's right! He was so well hung! Pause! Like. <laughs> you better not finish that sentence! The killer took advantage of the elevator's unique feature. Only the floor moves. By doing that, they created a drop so Nekamaro could fall to his death. Too easy! Please talk about how heavy this dude is, because that don't even make sense. So what if they created a drop? There's no way you can make him fall and die with just that. Why? If Nekomaru is suspended in midair like that, then how do you get him to fall? Hmm. Because if he's suspended in midair, he won't die if he doesn't actually fall. How do you get him to fall? Bro, do you not... Bro, somebody needs to talk about this dude. Wait, bro. Excuse me. The the knobs were the the Even bolts were taken out already. From a How would they make him fall? There's no one in the tower to push him off. There's no way they could do that. Advance on his ass. It doesn't mean someone had to push him off. It's possible that he fell on his own. What? Nekomaru fell on his. Nekomaru should have still been in sleep mode. If he was sleeping, there's no way he could do that to himself. <laughs> Now's the time if you want to take. But in that case. You still won't be able to explain the drop. Moving the elevator with Nekomaru inside is just impossible. End of story. Bro, 
damn it! Even if they suspended Nekomaru from a wire, how would they make him fall? There's no one in the tower to push him off. There's no way they could do that. I really can miss now. That's so stupid. I'm over here spamming left, right, up, down. But even if they suspended up, Nekomaru from a down, wire, how would they make him left, fall? Right. There's no one in the tower up, to push him off. Down, There's no way they could left, do that. And I missed it again. That same. I'm over here fooling around. Okay, come on, come on, come even on. Even if they suspended Nekomaru, how would they make him fall? There's no one in the tower to push him off. There's Why? no way they could do that. Oh, I have an amount of cuts in the bottom right corner. I didn't know that. I didn't know Even I had an amount of cuts. From, how would they make him fall? There's no one in the tower to push him off. There's no way they could do that. I did not know that this whole time. Even if they suspended Nekomaru from a wall, how would they make him fall? There's no one in the tower to push him off. There's no way they could do that. It has to do with Nekomaru's mean... self-timer. What is it though? Clock's alarm tower. Okay, okay. So he used it to wake up. It's possible that he fell on when his When he own. woke up, he started probably started wiggling around, what? bodied himself. Nekomaru fell on his own? Crap! What? Ne Nekomaru should have still been in sleep. There it is. Right? Allow me to cut I'm not gonna lie, my words. face still hurts from that. What do you think would happen if Nekomaru woke she up while he metal. was suspended upside down in midair? What do you think would happen if Nekomaru woke up while he was suspended upside down in midair? What are you saying? Like, how would he even wake up? He has an alarm inside his body. As long as it was armed, it would have deactivated his sleep mode. He has an alarm inside his body. As long as it was armed, it would, it would have deactivated his sleep mode. Which means the killer set the alarm before they suspended Nekomaru. If you woke up from an alarm and realized you were hanging upside down and had no clue why. If something like that happened to you, you would start panicking a lot, right? That's a fact. Instinctively, your body would start moving. Nekamaru probably did exactly that. And then, in order to make him fall from the force he was generating, the wire was hung on the tip of the doorknob so it would easily slip off. In actuality, the scrape marks caused by the wire were near the tip of the doorknob, right? But Nekomaru didn't fall because the wire came off, right? Right. He fell because the entire doorknob came off. Right. When Nekomaru awoke, he must have struggled much more than expected, which caused the doorknob to break off. Was that unexpected for the killer too? Look, lad, that's what I told y'all, bro. You got to watch her, bro. Watch her, bro. See how she always acting dumbfounded? Well, that's probably it. She was probably in here so hungry this whole time, bro. None of us knew about it. If they knew it'd leave behind evidence like that, they would have at least tried to do something to cover it up. The killer didn't expect the doorknob to come off. The reason that even happened was because... In that case, I shall use my full power! Whoa! Splash! With an fierce, okay, with a fierce roar, Nekomaru put all his power into grabbing the doorknob with both hands. But clatter, clatter, clatter. <laughs> not yet. Uh, here it comes the the incredible strength of one million horsepower. Gah! Splash. Wait, isn't it creaking? If you break off the doorknob, we'll be stuck in here. Hey, tyrant. If that's really what it was, then that's the clue Nekomaru left for us to find. I see. So that's how Nekomaru fell to his death. I don't think it's him, bro. I think it's Sonya. You finally understand now? Yeah. It appears it's just as Miss Sonya said. I'm just a pest. No, I'm not just a pest. I'm a total fucking pig. Let's see what she say about that, bro. Isn't that right, Miss Sonia? Okay. If I'm a fucking pig, you can say so. No, I believe you gave your all. This dynamic is disgusting, bro. Hey, why aren't you teasing me in 
anymore. He wants any type of attention she's willing to offer, bro. Any type. This guy, he gets off on this. So thanks to that alarm, Nekomaru ended up falling while he was still hanging upside down. That doesn't mean he just crashed straight into the floor. Of course, you know that too, right? It doesn't mean Nekomaru crashed straight into the floor. The moment, oh, the pillar, the pillar. I see. Easy work. When Nekomaru fell to the floor, he ended up colliding with the pillar. Isn't that it? That's exactly it, Haji. Good work, Haji, bro. Finally, the pillar. She's been waiting on this pillar talk the whole time. So that's how the pillar shattered, and why oil was spilled all over the place. That's a fact, Gundam. See, I told you the pillar was the weapon. My gut was totally right. I think that was accidental, Akane, but you're still doing good. Hey, good work. Well, the pillar. I give everybody two kisses on the cheek. I give everybody two kisses on the cheek. Don't make it like that, bro. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not soda, bro. It's not even clear if the killer intended that or if it was just a coincidence. At this point, it is quite difficult to find a clue that will lead to the killer. Then what about the alarm? I'm positive the alarm was set for 7.30 a.m. And if we map it out from there. Hold on, baby gangsta. Ugh, the homie BG. Stop calling me baby gangsta! What'd you just say? Did you say the alarm was set for 7.30 a.m.? Yes. You didn't check it yourself? Nekomaru's alarm was set for 7.30 a.m. Nah, that's impossible. Because even though I slept in a little, I still got to the tower at 7 in the morning. Hmm. Now that you mention it, so did I. There was no way I could be late for Monokuma Tai Chi, so I looked for Grape Tower before 7 a.m. And if we found Nekomaru's body there, it would have been before the 7.30 a.m. alarm went off. It appears yet another contradiction has been birthed. How were you able to discover Nekomaru died at 7.30 a.m. when you went to the tower at 7? Th that's what I want to know! <clears throat> Another mystery I don't understand. Seriously, it's just one after another. I mean, the time clocks could have been... Ch nah, I mean, it would have to be... Mechamaru's time clock. But I can't choke up at a time like this. Just a little more, and I'll be able to reach the truth. There should definitely be a clue to breaking through this contradiction. It's gotta be somebody's account. Akane's? Shoot. Fuyahiko, what was you talking about? And the wall clock, maybe. So we're looking for a contradiction right now. Let's see. Wall clock. At 5.30 a.m., the alarm of wall clock in the lounge on Strawberry House's second floor started going off. Fuyahiko was at the lounge by coincidence and managed to stop it. But Kazuichi and Gundam rushed to the lounge after being alerted by the sound. However, Nagito was apparently the only one who didn't hear it. I really think it has to do, but let, let's listen, let's listen. Before 7 a lamb, before 7 a lamb, 7 a lamb, stop. The alarm inside Nekomaru's chest was set for 7.30 a.m. That's a fact. Nekomaru died because of that alarm, right? His time of death and the time the body was discovered. One of those must be an illusion. The killer probably did some tampering. They probably messed with the clock inside Nekomaru's chest. Just because you said it, I doubt it. We headed for Grape Tower. Before 7 a.m., I am certain. We wouldn't know about that, because... But the alarm inside Nekomaru's chest was set for 7... Nekomaru died... It's come on, come on, come on, please, bro. The killer probably, they probably messed with the clock inside Nekomaru's chest. We got too many purple sentences no, for it not to work. No, the clock inside his chest was a radio clock, so it would have been impossible to mess with. So you're saying there's no way the killer could have tampered with the clock? Not the clock itself, but the radio waves. Maybe the clock Miss Sonia saw was the one that got tampered with. 
the clock inside Grape House? Why are you so confused all the time no, now? I checked all the clocks inside the fun house. Oh, that's what I asked you to do. So you really listened to me and checked all the clocks. And because of that, I can confidently declare that all the clocks had the same time displayed. Good work, baby gangster. If there's no possibility that the time was tampered with, then we must doubt that human's testimony. Please believe me, we are not lying. <clears throat> Then maybe it's a misunderstanding. They kind of feeling each other. They kind of. I've, I've been picking up on that this whole time. They like soft on each other. <gasps> on each other. I need some more water. I'm gonna get some in a minute. I never misunderstand. I'll crush you into dog food. Okay. This time-related contradiction. I don't think I should. <gasps> Sorry. I don't think I should doubt the testimonies. My sister just texted me. Golly. There's no mistake that something was done, but. What was it? Perhaps we've overlooked something. Maybe we're misunderstanding something. Think. If I focus and think, I should be able to find the answer to that mystery. Daylight savings. Oh, hell yeah. Logic dive? Let's go. Yeah. When the logic dive comes on, I just feel different. I just feel like me. Let's go. It's time to dive. Let's go inside Hajime's mind. What the? F <clears throat> Let's go. It's time to dive. Let's take a trip inside Hajime's mind. Let's go. It's time to think. I want to know the answer so we can we can see who killed Nekomaru. That's my nigga. Today, tomorrow, Nekomaru. What did Hajime and the others misunderstand? I mean, who the killer is is for sure, for sure. But this is gonna be wrong, watch. 360 to death. What did Hajime and the others misunderstand? The time in the building. Look at my life bar, bro. Somebody could sneeze on me and I'm stuck in this 0-1-1 world. What is it, what do you think Hajime look like while he's in here logic diving? Like, what does he look like at the trial right now? I bet he look like this. Now somebody gonna take that and... Somebody gonna take that and cancel me, but it's like, bro. And there this nigga go canceling himself. Ooh, a little back air, okay. Which house had the wrong time? Grape House did. Cause in Strawberry House, in the dude's house, is the, the clock went off at 5.30. That's two hours earlier. Fair enough. You said both houses, fair enough. No, I'm, I'm not thinking of the alarm. I'm thinking of the loud crash and I'm thinking of the alarm. No, 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 I'm not even thinking of that. Fuyihiko said he saw Nekomaru go to the tower at 5 a.m. What was he doing at 5 a.m.? It's, it's all coming together. Don't look at me with your eyeballs like that, bro. I don't trust it. You said you checked all the clocks inside the building. Isn't that right, Fuyuhiko? <laughs> yeah, none of the clocks had the wrong time. But what if all those clocks had been messed with? Mmm, interesting. What? All the clocks? So even if you checked all the clocks inside the building, there's no way you'd have noticed it. That would then mean that they really messed with the signal. Kazuichi Soda, I'm looking directly at you, bro. If they mess with the signal, that's why Nekomaru got up at five in the morning, went to the tower. That's why Akane heard that crash. And then that's why everybody still got there at seven o'clock. Got it. I see. So the killer messed with the time inside the whole building by changing all the clocks. And that would then mess with Nekom... No, that wouldn't mess with Nekomaru's. So that's what it was. There's no way I would have noticed that. It was actually 7.30. They pushed it. Okay, I see. I see. fantastic. Now's not the time to be pleased. More importantly, how much was the time off? This has to do with your, your account. She's right. That's the main problem. I need to clarify about how much the time was off after the killer messed with the clocks. That's definitely the next mystery. I'm gonna reach the truth in one go. You said you wanna take Haji now? Bro, you know better than that. I'm gonna miss a few shots, bro. 
you about to shoot a few blanks, bro. But I think it is Akane's account. Let me just take a look at what it says again. Akane, I need, I need some information. Heard the rumbling noise at 5.30. There it is. Then we can only rely on Nekomaru's radio clock. The time of death. It's clearly 7.30 a.m. Akane, if you don't speak up to the fact that you heard it at 5.30, a, 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 a large thud, a large thud, a large thud, a loud thud, sorry, golly, bro. The problem is, what time in our time? Are there any clues that can be used to narrow that down? Here we go. If only I heard the sound when he fell. There it is. Easy work. I agree with that. Look, and you see, she's the one that tried to play. If only I heard a sound. That's, that's right. We, we heard, heard a Connie. Huh? Like, you already know what you're going to do next. Watch. Rumbling? Rumbling? Like, stop! I thought it was just an earthquake. Rumbling? So back to sleep. Was that the Rumbling? sound when Nekomaru fell? Well, a huge body fell from the fourth floor to the first, and the pillar fell with it. It's obvious we'd hear the impact sound. We heard that noise, too. It was when we were gathered at the Strawberry House Lounge. What is it, Sonia? Look at her, bros and sisters. Bro, eggs and eggplants. Look at what's going on right here. Oh, well, that sound everyone heard? I did not hear it at all. Huh? You probably didn't hear it because you were sleeping. I could not sleep at all. I was awake the whole night with hunger pain. Oh, see, uh, bro, I'm sitting up here reading you like a whole book, bro. There's nothing to worry about. What's important is that rumbling noise, anyway. If we use that rumbling sound as a reference, we might be able to figure out how much our time was off. I heard that sound probably around 5.30 in the morning. Bro, Spike, you can't do the slow pan up on Akane, bro. That doesn't work the same, bro. We're all distracted. What time, huh? Oh, 5.30, got you. Huh? You can tell? I instantly woke up and left my room. And that's when I saw the clock in the lounge. That's a lot of work, Akane. You don't mean that. That rumbling sound, bro. I see. Nekomaru's alarm went off at 7.30. And if we heard the sound of his impact at 5.30, that means our time was off by two hours. Two hours? That much? We were starving pretty badly. There's no way we would have noticed. Plus, the funhouse has no windows. And there weren't any Monokuma announcements either. However, for what reason did the killer alter our perception of time? The reason is obvious. So they can lure out just Nekomaru. Exactly. Lure out only Nekomaru? If you messed with the clocks and used a specific thing, you definitely get Nekomaru to the tower alone, right? From there, the killer's plan was a splendid success. That's all it means. Besides messing with the time, the killer also used a specific thing. If they were trying to lure only Nekomaru, then that specific thing is... Damn it! Was it Tai Chi? What did Tai Chi have to do with anything, though? I mean, I get that he had to wake up for that, but it doesn't start till That's seven. It. The killer made use of the Monokuma Tai Chi activity in the morning. How did they? Use That's what I'm trying to figure out. We were required to go to Great Tower every morning at seven a.m. for that activity, right? But if they mess with all the clocks inside the oh. building, what would that do to us? Okay. We wouldn't be able to attend on time. That wouldn't affect that's Nekomaru. right that's right that's right that's right that's right i just figured this out just a minor brain fart his radio clock had the exact time that's right in doing so the killer was able to lure him to the tower by himself at the precise time then when i witnessed nekomaru early in the morning that was actually time to go if i recall you witnessed nekomaru around 5 a.m this makes it hurt even more because Nekumaru literally was doing 
the right thing he was literally keeping to himself after sacrificing his mortal body and then gets betrayed by and if that time was also two hours off it should have been 7 a.m yeah that's pretty much it i think exactly like crabs in a barrel in this game like you see one person showing weakness and you're you're the target that person is targeted at that time he was heading over to monokuma tai chi right on schedule whose room is that right by uh fuyihiko's shoulder who drew that who stayed there tommy pickles bitch who is that i see now that i think about it i realize what monokuma meant when he said those words <gasps> too early he didn't even ask you yet jeez how outrageous I honestly didn't expect everyone to ditch Monokuma Tai Chi. But it turned out like this after all, so I guess it can't be helped. When you said everyone, you were including us, right? We thought we came to the tower on time, but in truth, it was way past the meeting time. Ah, jeez. That's, well, how should I put it? Um, what was it? You know, tripping over a foot or something like that. Are you talking about tripping over someone else's fault? Wrong! Too bad! Liar! I'm right! That's not it! It's incorrect! Th that's definitely the correct answer. You always get so stubborn like this. So stubborn! Let's just ignore the peanut gallery. Now that we've found out how the killer lured Nekomaru, the number of suspects has drastically decreased. Huh? Hey, why would that decrease the number of suspects? Don't be a friggin' liar! You'll know I'm not lying when you listen to what Fuyuhiko's going to say next. Mm. Huh? What the hell do you mean? You witnessed Nekomaru going toward the tower. Did something else happen after that? Speak on it, Fuyuhiko. Are you talking about that alarm? Hmm. Alarm? A little while after I witnessed Nekomaru, the clock in the Strawberry House Lounge started going off. Plus, it was just before that rumbling sound occurred. That's it. So that's what it is. If Nekomaru died when the rumble happened, then whoever doesn't have an alibi at the time is the prime suspect. Damn, that mean uh, Kazuichi is cool then. Really? Was there anyone who didn't have an alibi at that time? Nigga, Nagito didn't have an alibi. What are you talking, bro? How about we start pointing fingers at him instead of always at me, bro? I remember now. The sound was so loud I couldn't help bolting from my room. But there was one guy who never left the lounge. We were both on the same floor. It's pretty weird that bastard never came out of his guest room. Which means that person does not have an alibi for when Nekomaru fell? Who is it? Who's the bastard? Nagito! Bro. Bro. Allow me, bro. You're the only one. You're the only one. You're the only one, bro. The one who wasn't there. It's you. Right, Nagito? That's right. Nagito wasn't there. It was just me, Gundam, and Fuyuhiko. This, this might be a thumbnail, maybe. I don't know. You didn't come out, even though the alarm was going off like crazy. You weren't in your room, were you? If that's the case, where were you? Look at him staying quiet because he knows he's not the killer. This is what pisses me off about Nagito. I'm saying his name wrong all, all year. Please. Where's your alibi? How about you start talking? N Nagito. If you don't hurry up and answer, I'm gonna suicide dive you! This is not WWF. Nobody knows what that move is, and it's probably gonna have your chest bouncing. We all pleased by it. Please suicide dive us. If I may be frank, even if I wanted to go to the lounge, I couldn't. Using the dead room? You couldn't? What do you mean? <laughs> It's merely the foolish talk of the week. Not only did I not hear the alarm, I never even heard that rumbling sound. You couldn't? You're dead! 
definitely fucking lying. Uh, however, that is also true for me. It is obvious that I did not hear the alarm in Strawberry House. But I did not hear the rumbling sound either. Is that not strange? I mean, everyone else heard it. To be honest, it's not just them. The same goes for me too. Huh? I was in a pretty deep sleep, so I thought that's why I couldn't hear it, but... It wasn't that. I probably couldn't hear it at all. Couldn't hear it? What does that mean? You still don't know. Think about what the three of us who didn't hear a sound have in common. And I'm sure you'll figure it out. Chiaki, Nagito, Sonya. Hangman's Gambit? What could these three have in common? Um, let's try a U, let's try a R, an E, no that's not it, let's try a D, Dream, Dead, I'm looking for an A. Dell Dell What? Deluxe They were in the deluxe rooms. They were in the deluxe rooms. Yo, y'all can leave. Y'all can all leave now. Thank you. I'm glad this was a hangman's because if it was any other one, I it would have been. No, I would have figured it out, but it had to be hangman. The three of you were staying in deluxe rooms, right? If I recall, the deluxe rooms are... Soundproof? Hmm, hmm. The reason we could not hear the rumbling noise... That's right. It was because the deluxe rooms have superior sound insulation. You actually noticed that. Nice catch, Hajime. Are you using your ultimate reserve course student talent? <laughs> Yo, I hate being slided like this, bro. Look at his face. Look at how he's looking at me saying that. Just look away and, and stay quiet, bro. Kill him with silence, bro. Now then, you guys must understand by now, right? The true identity of Nekomaru's killer Hold on a sec. Why does that lead to who the killer is? <laughs> Why? Well, that fact just now is a very important clue and a decisive factor in identifying the killer. Decisive factor? Somehow, I feel like I understand what Nagito means. The killer among us. The killer who murdered Nekamaru. You already know what's good. Wait, 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 what are the final? I'm just, I'm just clicking anybody I suspected this whole time. I were, f bro, I, I think I might have missed what he just said, bro. Crap. Bro, what was that last message he said? 
Please say it ain't so. Someone from Strawberry House? We should make it a dude. Crap. <laughs> I died. <laughs> Wait a minute. Strawberry House, that's where the dudes were sleeping at. I gotta hear I gotta hear what uh Nagito was saying anyway. Damn, who did who did that who does that leave? Who did that even leave just now? We will never give up. We will never give up. Let me hear what let me hear what uh, Nagito said real quick. I clicked everybody and everybody. Oh my gosh, they don't run it back. The killer who murdered Nekumaru in Strawberry House. Do you want me to? Do you want me to click me? Crap. Bro, who is it, bro? I already clicked him. I clicked Gundam. You're the only one. Gundam, there's something I want to. <laughs> <laughs> what? No way, bro. No way. When the alarm rang at the store, look at him. You rushed over there too, right? Look at him in the back, bro. Bro, he should have been gone. That demonic energy he brought into the house, bro. Look at him like my plans unfolding. Like we strike at 7:30. Like stop, bro. We can't trust you no more. You gotta go. And you had the nerve to, to swing back at me, bro. This thing hit me with a left hook, bro. Right hook, I guess. Left left cheek, right hook. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? So I'm trying to sound like Lee Everett, trying to be a, a black man now. Like, that's going to help you, bro. That's actually anti-saving, bro. Let's be honest, bro. If the bell of catastrophe rings throughout the night, it is the universe's providence to stop it. What? I'm so glad you reading this and not me. Why were you able to hear it? Ooh. Hear what? Ooh, he's sweating. I mean, you were also staying in a deluxe room, right? Nagito was staying in a deluxe room in the same house on the same floor. You can't make this up, bro. I really did not think. You seen how many people I clicked before him, bro? So why were you able to hear that alarm? Now that you mentioned Genius, fine, Hajime. Genius. Gundam? I really thought it was you, girl. I owe you an. I owe you a public apology, Sonya. Never mind. I apologize. I'm so sorry. I should have thought more deeply about what was at stake. And I got played like a fiddle again. Good work, Spike. I got to give you your props, too. Your props, not your pipes. Your props. There is only one possibility. You weren't in your room at the time. Mm-hmm. That's why, even though you were staying in a deluxe room, mm -hmm. you still went to the room. Mm -hmm. right? Gundam, um, you have some sort of explanation, right? Damn, Sonya was really feeling my dude, bro. And now look at her heartbroken betrayal. Gundam probably couldn't return to his room because of Fuyuhiko. Me? After you saw Nikomaru heading to the tower, you stayed at the lounge for a while. Am I correct? Until the moment that alarm started ringing, right? If you were in the lounge for that long, the killer who had left earlier obviously wouldn't be able to go back. Even though Mekamaru's murder was a death trap that utilized the alarm in his chest, the killer still needed to prepare the murder in advance. Like putting Nekamaru in sleep mode and tying him up with the wire. You know his little dirty ass rats helped him tie a Nekamaru up too, bro. You know they did. He said, well, I just want some cheese, a little bit of kibble and bit. Like, stop, bro. In order to do that, the killer needed to be waiting for Nekamaru at the tower. 
Which means when Fuyuhiko witnessed Nekamaru, the killer was already at the tower. And once they tried to go back, they couldn't because Fuyuhiko was at the lounge. Look at him just quiet, getting red like a fucking book, bro. In their original plan, the killer should have returned to their room before the alarm in the lounge went off. And they were supposed to stay in their room. They weren't planning to come out and go to the lounge. This is crazy. Which means they wouldn't have heard the alarm or the rumbling sound, thus proving they were in the room, just like us. The best case scenario would have been if those two in the lounge had gone to check the deluxe rooms. After all, if they personally saw the killer sleeping in their room, it gives the killer a stronger alibi. Unfortunately, they failed to secure that alibi. Because... You were in the, in the lounge. If it wasn't for that meddling baby gangster. So the killer couldn't go back to their room and ended up hearing the lounge's alarm. It's probably mad as F he had to be there for it too. Trying to fit in, still lying, still spreading curses though. Why'd you come out? You should have hid till the excitement died. Down. Idiot. If Gundam tried to hide, and if those two went to his room to check on him, Ooh, you would have been found out. Yup, yup. That would have been the worst possible outcome. That's why he couldn't just stay hidden. If those two had just checked the deluxe rooms as planned, that would have been ideal, but how ironic. The moment Fuyuhiko set foot in the lounge, your plan was doomed. It feels good when when, Nag when Nagito catches people and they lie and then starts just like clobbering them with logic, bro. Silent. G Gundam, please, can you at least say something? How you get logic clobbered? This nigga just got logic clobbered, bro. Answer me this. Including myself in my four dark devas of destruction. How many ears do we possess? <laughs> he spent all that time to come up with this rebuttal and they all show up ready to ready to like debate like Who you think got the best like I Don't know who got the best like behavior But I know the one on his on his left shoulder this fat one right here got the worst poop, bro I know it's just stink the answer is 10. That's right, I possess 10 ears. That means I have five times the hearing of a normal human. The soundproof system here <laughs> may as well not exist. Okay. I mean, if, if I was pinned up against a corner like this, bro, I'd probably pull this bullshit out too. Is that your That's audience? what I'm sitting up here wondering too, Haji. You bastard. Do you understand the situation you're in right now? D do not panic. The truth shall now commence. We're waiting. At the time, I left my room to go to the bathroom. By coincidence, I heard the alarm. I'm so glad it's you, bro. I cannot stand Gundam. That's right. That's all it was. The world is always so simple. Not your world. That's how I know you're wrong. Have you always had a mummified forearm in hand? Are you saying it was just a coincidence? Isn't that timing a little too perfect? And yet, I'm being suspected by all of you. It seems it was actually horrible timing on my That's That is nice reverse psychology. I'll give him that. I see. You're still holding out. You got some You got some heat for us, Nagi? Well, you don't have to admit it. We're going to decide who the killer is with the majority vote anyway. So, why don't we just go ahead and start voting? It's obvious that Gundam is the killer. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. When Nagito started acting like this, I started getting worried too. Chiaki, speak up. Uh, hold on a sec. Okay, Haji speaking up now. You know, Hajime, this class trial, this killing, it's merely the opening act, you know. Hey, what do you mean the class trial is just the <laughs> opening act? Perhaps I should say it's just a farce. Shut up, my nigga Nekamaro. <laughs> Splash. Just a boring farce. So boring, so stressful. I'm so painfully bored that I might develop stomach ulcers. Seriously. Let's just hurry up and finish this before I collapse from poor health. 
Oh my gosh. Nagito, something definitely happened to you. Didn't. Mm -hmm. At some point during the investigation, your behavior became even weirder. What? What actually happened? Did you discover something? <laughs> well, let's just leave that fun for later. And finish this opening act already. What are we talking about right now, bro? Ah, you said opening act again! <sighs> Please hold on! We have yet to hear Gunna's rebuttal! It is Sonya! It is! Look at her! But he's completely shut up. Perhaps he can't argue anymore. Gundam! <laughs> I was simply at a loss for words after being dumbfounded by your pathetic assumption. In fact, I shall deny the very basis. Your assumption has been wrong since the beginning. Since the beginning? Based on your assumption, I hung Nekomaru from the fourth floor of the tower and made the floor descend to the first floor. Right. From there, after returning to Strawberry House, I was present when the alarm at the lounge went off, correct? Correct. Although going to and fro is busy enough as it is, how would I be able to travel between both houses anyway? <laughs> okay. I see. The contact elevator was That's broken. right. That's right. It is Sonya. It's Sonya. As I recall, the killer tampered with the grape house control panel, which shut down the elevator. Plus, the stopped elevator should have been facing the grape house side. If so, the human who used the elevator would have left it at Grape House. For these reasons, it's an indisputable fact that the killer destroyed the elevator at Grape House. Gundam! Gundam! Gundam. Our relationship is weird, bro. It's weird, bro. I was ready to get you the F up out of here, bro. And then you hit me with a no, that's wrong. Who came up with that logic, bro? Your rats had that in the, in the cut the whole time? This nigga rats went to his ear like, the, the elevator at Grape House is broke. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Like, where you get them from, Petco? No, sir. And what's wrong with that? If the elevator was broken at Grape House, he wouldn't be able to return to Strawberry House. However, I was already at Strawberry House. I was present when the alarm in the lounge started ringing. Which means your assumption is clearly wrong. Oh my gosh. Are you serious? And here I thought it's already been decided. <laughs> Have you learned your lesson, pitiful humans? You cannot overcome this contradiction. That's wrong. When something is obviously wrong, that's when a contradiction is born. There's no such thing as a contradiction that can't be overcome. Make an argument? Are you serious? I'm gonna start here. That elevator was the only means of travel between the two houses. <gasps> as long as. Didn't they say somewhere? I think Nagito might have said it that somebody else knew about the secret weapon. Now, no, 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 no. If the secret weapon is the fun house, he, he might have been the only one to go to the dead room game. That's a contradiction, though. I can contradict that somehow. Your assumption collapses. It's what you think. Plus, the elevator was... Was what? Broken at Grape House. Right, that's, that's facts. If the killer cannot return to Strawberry House... Since I was at Strawberry House at that time, there's no question that the following crime is impossible. It would have been different if they had an accomplice. 
Or if there was a secret passageway. How much longer do you Bro. plan to lecture me? Secret passageway on the first thing they said. Easy work. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Run that back. That elevator, the only means Wrong. Of as long as I'm going to contradict, contradict that with a, with a similar sentence. And I can't suck up the, the blue ones. Pause, no y'all. Pause, pause. Different. There was a secret passageway. I need that. Longer, why don't we stop this already? Hold up. Is it still Gundam? That elevator, the only means of travel between the two houses. Let's go. No, I needed that to hit it first. Let's go. No, there should have been another way to move between the two houses without the elevator. Yo, Nagito, I'm gonna need you to speak up for right now, bro. Speak now, forever hold it, bro. Such a method does not exist. Then why don't we ask the person who actually used that method? You're the only one! <laughs> Nagito, you should know. Huh? What are you talking about? You're not serious. Don't play dumb. You appeared so suddenly that one time because you used that method, right? There's a secret passage connecting the first floor of Strawberry House to the third floor of Grape House. Isn't that right? Jeez. Once again, I let the reserve course show up. But you're right. There's a door on the floor of the Octagon, which is on the first floor of Strawberry House. Why are you still talking trash, though? After I opened the door and went down. Surprise, surprise! I ended up in the Monokuma Archive. Meaning the third floor and the fourth floor are actually connected. Plus, once you've cleared the final dead room once, you can pass through it as many times as you want. Mm. If they use that secret passage, they could have gone between the two houses as much as they want. And that's how they got the mallet. Infinity Unlimited Flame! What? However, what if the killer was unaware of the existence of the final dead room? There's no way they didn't know. No way at all, bro. Come on. That is merely an illusion you have fabricated from your own suspicion. <laughs> If you value your life, you should stop with your scrutiny. There's no way I can stop. <laughs> Did you say? Don't make me angry. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, 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 the big mallet has nothing to do with this, huh? What? Even if the turbid box doesn't exist, you could travel through multiple planes. Provided oh, you use a spacious wormhole. However, how frail, frail, I say! Your decayed illusion. Shall I feed you to the progeny of vile deities? Alright, I'm not even listening to what he's saying. I'm just trying to get these cuts off. Exist, you could travel through multiple planes, provided you use a spacious wormhole. However, how frail, frail, I say! Your decayed illusion. Shall I feed you to the progeny of vile deities? Did I win? Bro, what the f is this? You say the killer went to the octagon? Don't bark, you cur! You don't want to drown in the maelstrom. Allow me to cut through those words. <laughs> what? I'm done. The wire used to string up Nekomaru's body. That was part of the the weaponry. The hammer that looked like yes! the Yes. Thank you. There's the, the mallet the and the chain the and the chain. Those I forgot. Were all the items that weren't in Funhouse. Where did the killer obtain them? The only place I can think of is the octagon. There were various weapons and tools there. I'm pretty sure I saw stuff like wires, hammers, and chains, too. Since those items were used in the crime, there's no doubt that the killer went to the octagon. If that's the case, they obviously know about the secret passage, too, right? <laughs> it seems this is the end. That still doesn't prove how it was him that had him, though. No 
Normally, we'd end up listening to Hajime lecture us with a very long summary of the case. Oh, thank God. But there's no reason to waste any more time on this opening act. So I'm going to end this right now. Hey, what are you... First of all, by messing with all the clocks in the building, Gundam tried to lure... <laughs> okay, Nagi, get it off then! ...broken by that point. Thanks to that, Nekomaru wasn't able to go to Grape Tower, which was supposed to be the meetup point. So he tried going over to Strawberry Tower. Okay. Just like we did when we found out the elevator was broken. Okay. Well, it's obvious he'd attempt that. Right. At that time, we didn't know the two towers were the exact same place. Right, also, right. The button in Strawberry Hall wasn't broken, so he was easily able to enter Strawberry Tower. Mm -hmm. But surprise! Gundam was waiting for Nekomaru's arrival. Hold on. If Nekomaru didn't go to Strawberry Tower, what would the killer have done then? Their plan was a balancing act of uncertainties. But even if they failed, they probably wouldn't have minded. They can just greet everyone the next morning as if nothing happened and come up with a different plan. Fair. And without <clears throat> such a risky plan, they wouldn't have been able to lure him at all. I'm going to continue summarizing the case, okay? Just do it, bro. Through this, Gundam successfully lured Nekomaru to Strawberry Tower. There's no way he could fight head on with the robotic Nekomaru. So by pressing the good night button, he rendered Nekomaru powerless without fighting him. Hold on! You... What did you just say? That... I didn't battle? Hmm? What's wrong with that? This might be the accomplice part. Don't... Mess with me! Don't mess with me! I cannot ignore those words! Why are you angry all of a sudden? You fools! Do not understand! You don't understand at all! Ha! You make me laugh! After all this time, you still don't understand This dude about to show his all. true form in a minute, watch. I don't understand anything. What does that mean? It appears I cannot finish just yet. Maybe I'm just a human destined for hell. However, I cannot finish just yet. The people who be saying stuff like that, you gotta watch out for them kind of niggas, bro. Like, they will, I don't know. And every people play like that, I'll be like, you, you want to go there, bro? Bye, bro. <laughs> I cannot finish. That's what she said to y'all. She would never say that to me. It's obvious. I'm going to destroy your illusory assumptions. Are you saying you still have more? You still have room to argue? Your words. You said I pressed Nekomaru's good night button. However, that button was on the back of Nekumaru's neck. To press it, I'd have to get behind him. It's not easy to get the drop on Coach Nekomaru. It's even more difficult if it's a one-on-one -on -one situation. Just as I thought, truly frail, succumbing so easily to this simple argument, it was just a mere illusion. <laughs> if you want to set me up as the killer, at least surpass your own human limitations. That's wrong, Gundam. You're the one who's wrong. <laughs> Such a wonderful line. However, I cannot say that I'm satisfied. Listen well. I shall teach you two tips for making someone admit their defeat. First, you must crush them with your own overwhelming power. And as for the other, you must provide a reason that will persuade that human. You have not fulfilled either of those yet. I guess you really don't want to admit it. Then, just as you requested, I will provide an argument that'll leave you no choice but to be persuaded. Oh gosh. I won't let you! For the Tanaka Empire! With him! Crushed as David prophesized! I won't let you! For the Tanaka Empire! With him! Crushed as David prophesized! Show me the cadaver! 
I won't let you! For the Tanaka Empire! Wither! Crush as David prophesies! I won't let you! For the Tanaka Empire! Wither! Crush as David prophesies! For the Tanaka Empire! I won't let you! For the Tanaka Empire! It's Nekobaru's back. Ooh. Do you really think I can get behind him so easily? This is the end! Wow! Wow! Damn! Even if you didn't get behind Nekomaru, you should have been able to press the button on the back of the Wow! Snake. As long as you had the power of the hamsters you keep with That's you! That's right, call them hamsters. Oh? Are you seriously saying he used his hamsters to press the button on the back of Nekomaru's neck? I mean... Of course that'd be impossible for a normal hamster, but it would have been possible for Gunders. In fact, we saw that with our very own eyes, right? Oh, that's right. <laughs> okay, I like that. Now that you mention it, I was just thinking of that. That happened in a previous venue, trial as well. One of Gundam's hamsters retrieved the piece of wallpaper from the baton lighting, right? Yeah, they they kind of they kind of they kind of swaggy a little. Hey, with your friends and their exceptionally smart brains. It must have been possible to secretly get one of them behind Megamaru and press the button on the back of his neck. How about it, Gundam? You're done. <laughs> <laughs> Not just myself, but you actually brought up how splendid my subordinates are. <sighs> I have no recourse but to admit it. Admit it? Did you say you admit it? The way she's still acting is throwing me off, though, y'all. It appears I've obtained a one-way ticket to hell. Fine! Then you must trample me underfoot and advance. Victory can only be built upon a foundation of corpses. You cannot find peace without sacrifice anywhere! Please let this mean you're throwing Sonya under the bus. Now, trample this life! Trample it as though it were mere trash on the side of the road. Pull the curtain strings of this worthless performance with your own two hands. Damn it, I didn't want to have to do this. Wow, so it really is just Gundam. Sonya. My nigga, are, are we serious with this? in this case let's first go over the many tricks the killer prepared before they committed the crime go over it Haji. talk to these niggas bro if you're gonna first, talk that slow I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it off auto elevator. destroy the contact they separated Nagito and the others in strawberry house from our group in grape house Bet. next they lured Nekomaru out by himself by turning back all the clocks in the fun house by two hours facts additionally in order to secure an alibi, the killer went to the Strawberry House Lounge and set the wall clock's alarm to 5.30 a.m. Right. After finishing their preparations, the killer went to Strawberry Tower with the necessary tools in hand. Right. They obtained these tools from the Octagon, which you can enter once you clear the final dead room. Okay. This means the killer discovered the secret of the Funhouse faster than anybody else. This might be a thumbnail. That's kind of swaggy. That secret being, Strawberry House and Grape House are actually the same building. Mm-hmm. On the morning of the incident, Nekomaru woke up and headed over to Grape Tower for a specific reason. He was ready for that Tai Chi. You boo booing, bro? There, Fuyuhiko, who was at the lounge by coincidence, witnessed Nekomaru. According to Fuyuhiko's testimony, that was around 5 a.m., but by that point, 
the killer had already messed with our perception of time. That's right. In actuality, Fuyuhiko witnessed Nekomaru at 7 a.m. That's also the same time Monokuma Tai Chi begins. Nekomaru went to Grape Tower to participate in that. Oh, However, poor guy, man. Because the contact elevator was broken, Nekomaru was unable to go to Grape Tower. So he decided to try going to Strawberry Tower. But the killer was waiting for him there. With the power of hamsters, I need them to get some kind of really violent treatment too, bro. Peta, I apologize, man, but look at what they're doing. By eye for an eye. Make the whole world blind. This forced him to enter sleep mode. Message. Rendering him immobile. From there, the killer began preparing to use the ultimate weapon. First, they set the alarm in Nekomaru's chest to 7.30 a.m. so he'd wake up. Then they tied him up with a metal wire, tied the tip of the wire into a loop, and hung it on the doorknob. After leaving Strawberry Tower, the killer then destroyed the door button to Strawberry Hall. Mm. They did this to keep us from entering Strawberry Tower. Right. And to keep us from discovering the secret of the building structure that they used to kill Nekomaru. Mm -hmm. Then, they used the secret octagon passageway to travel to Grape House. Look at what Gundam was doing. After arriving at Grape Hall, they pressed the button to open the door to the tower. When that happened, the elevator-like floor of the tower began descending, and Nekomaru's body was still inside, dangling upside down in mid-air from the wire. The killer entered Grape Tower to see if their setup was successful. Look at that he top left. placed a on the floor to look like the weapon, then wrapped a chain around the back door. This was done to make us falsely believe we couldn't enter the tower from Strawberry Hall. Who designed this? With this, the killer finished their setup and tried to go back to their room using the secret passage. You almost have to credit Gundam on how how ingenious this plan is. It's like like you used everything Monokuma threw at you to come up with this elaborate plan. Are y'all niggas working together? Man? So they could craft their alibi when Nekomaru died from the fall. But something unexpected happened. Fuyuhiko, who saw Nekomaru earlier, was still at the lounge. As a result, the killer couldn't return to their room, and with no options available, time ran out. You saved a life, Fuyuhiko. Well, not really, but... The lounge's wall clock alarm started ringing killer. at 5.30. Well, actually 7.30. To avoid a worst-case scenario, the killer was forced to appear in front of Fuyuhiko with the others. When the wall clock's alarm rang, that was also the same time Nekomaru was waking up. He woke up while he was still hanging upside down, so he couldn't help but sway his body powerfully. Originally, the loop of wire was only supposed to slip off the doorknob, but because there was a heavier load than expected, the doorknob ended up breaking. Pause, bro. I don't feel like I Nekomaru just need to. fell from the fourth floor all the way to the first floor. He crashed into the pillar, which decapitated him on impact. Oh my gosh. The sound of Nekomaru's impact echoed throughout the funhouse. Why is Soda happy about it? Like Kazuichi, relax, bro. However, by this point, the killer's plan was about to fail, thanks to the broken doorknob and Fuyuhiko. Meaning, the killer is someone who wouldn't have heard the alarm if they were in the deluxe room. They also wouldn't have been able to return to their guest room because Fuyuhiko was at the lounge. There go my thumbnail. That someone is Gundam Tanaka. I can't think of anyone else but you. <laughs> splendid. Why are you happy about it? <laughs> that was splendid. For a mere human, you did quite well. Stop. Stop it already. Right, man. We still talking about a friend of ours, man. Stop using weird words to avoid the truth. Or I'll friggin' kill you myself! I cannot believe it. I just cannot believe. You... 
You killed... Nekomaru? I cannot believe something like that! You don't wish to forgive me. Do you feel regret? Oh, this dude is sick. Then finish it! Cast your impure votes for Gundam Tanaka! My beloved, deadly foes, let the voting time begin! Just like that? What? He's actually happy about what's about to happen to him, bro. Why is there a point system in this? And they give me a B. Like, you, you could have gone this whole game without this point system and it would have been just as fine. But now you want niggas to feel... Result isn't all that exciting. I mean, it got me a few times. What do you got planned right now? Well then, please pull the lever in front of you and cast your vote. Did Monokuma just admit this trial sucked? Who will be chosen as the blackened? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? Please pull the lever. Crap! I bit my tongue at the most important part. Stop, bro. Can't wait to see how you get bodied. You provided no type of good energy to the house. Let's see how you go. It'd be bad if I bit my tongue again, so I'll speak slowly. Judging from the results. You guys were correct once again. Getting four in a row without any mistakes is a splendid achievement. It really ends with Gundam Tanaka. <laughs> That's right. The one who killed the robotic Nekumaro in the amazing funhouse. Was Gundam Tanaka. Nice. Yay. I said all that without biting my tongue. Now then. Now that we've decided who the killer is, let's do the execution already and get this over with. Hold on. It's true that the class trial is finished, but that doesn't mean the incident is over. We can't finish it until we hear it from Gundam. Jeez. <laughs> no matter what he says, it won't change a thing. Well, I have no right to stop you either. So do whatever you like. Why do you want to talk to one? I'm <clears throat> sorry. Why do you want to talk to one who has lost? The loser merely leaves. It would just be unnecessary for me to say something. Listen well. It's what I would like to say, but for honor's sake, I shall correct one thing. Oh, that's what he would like to say. Correct? How pitiful. You guys said I made Nekamaru powerless without fighting him. That, however, is a great mistake huh fine nekumaru did fight that is no mistake and because he fought he lost and died D damn it L lost and died this too must be the will of causality if he was just trying to cling to life there are many ways he could have done so However, he did not allow that. You. W what do you mean? Explain. <laughs> <laughs> Fine then. Then I shall reveal it all. Let's make history. Within the final dead room, I discovered the secret of the fun house. And I devised a killing plan utilizing that secret. If I do GTA roleplay, because we, we practice all the voices over here, bro. Right? I, I think I'm gonna start playing GTA roleplay soon. Which voice should I use? Gundam's feels comfortable for me. I could probably... Hello, everyone. What gang shit are we going into? <laughs> what gang shit are we pursuing today? I cannot wait to riddle the streets with virtual blood. For Jamestown. <laughs> All right. Shout out my boy, I'm Dante and Duke. 
By tampering with all the clocks in the building, I succeeded in luring Nekomaru to the tower. I could do my regular voice too. That could be cool. And this is what happened. Nekomaru and I were alone in the tower, standing face to face with one another. <laughs> I should say I expected as much from Nekomaru. He sensed my subtle killing intent and instantly understood the situation. And we had ourselves a stare down. In that situation, if he wanted to run away, it would have been easy for him to do so. He could have run away or even called for help, but he did not turn his back to me. Instead, he chose a fight that risked life and death. That is... A fight that risked life and death? Let me tell you He this. was serious too. He gave it his all to try to kill me. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> if I had died instead, the mystery surrounding the case would have been even more complicated. You would never know why I, the victim, went to the tower by myself. I can see it! Nobody would know that the victim, me, was actually the one who planned the whole thing! Could it be? Mekumaru really did that? Sensing even my subtle killing intent, as expected of you, Nekomaru. The scorching, stinging, tense atmosphere. I've been a team manager for so long, I'd nearly forgotten this. This is great! What a comforting atmosphere! Oh wow. He might have thought he was trying to train he's trying to train. Hmm. That's a great one. And what is your reason? Do you intend to Never resolve mind. this situation by killing me? He knew it was purely smoke. <laughs> I am the Warlock, Gundam Tanaka. Heroes, Lords of Darkness, and even the gods themselves flee from me. I need not cling to any trivial reason. I'm simply going to kill you because your very existence is an annoyance. <laughs> You'll drench your soul with evil until the bitter end, huh? Splendid! Splash. In response to your spirit, I shall kill you with all of my might. I won't go easy on you. Don't even think about holding back. Don't waste your breath on cowardly tactics. Give me everything you got. Nekomoro Nidai, your blood will drench the foundation oil. of my empire. Oil, oil. That is... <laughs> Why? Why did you fight? <laughs> we are all friends. Why couldn't you stop this? Even if both sides agreed, it was still wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I will not argue. I have no intention of forcing my values upon you. Let me tell However, you I must say this. What's the point of living if you're just waiting until you finally die? You weakling! There's nothing courageous about that! That is abandonment, a mere feeling of resignation. I'd rather have that happen to us and have our friends kill each other. Fall, my tears. Ever since we were locked inside that building, everyone had been dominated by that feeling of abandonment. However, nothing is born from resignation. That is a simply, oh, that is simply a reason to give up. If you flinch, you G will die. Giving up on life, <laughs> that's just an insult to life itself. I see what Gundam is trying to do in this last little moment, like, right message, Wrong methods, bro. Let me ask. Have you fools heard of the term dog eat dog? Um. Cannibalism? 
fine. In zoology, cannibalism is a commonly observed phenomenon. Many creatures at some point in their lifespan engage in cannibalism. Listen well. That is what it means to live. If you say killing for the sake of living is evil, then what would you call giving up on life itself? Message. I shall I'll give him that. This world. If a world would consider that justice, then I will fight that world with every last fiber of my being. Giving up on life and choosing death? It's nothing but a blasphemy toward life. I renounce you! It is a violation of the natural order. It is the arrogance of humanity. Ugh, this nigga's spitting right now. You. Uh, are you saying all that to try to justify what you did? But... But it sounds like Nikamaro felt the same thing too that's why they fought right damn it Ugh. Fine. that man had the courage to die when he needed to die that is why he challenged me to our battle <laughs> regardless as i've already said i do not intend to force my values upon you fools i have betrayed you all that is the absolute truth Oh, my but tears. even so, don't you think it's a better alternative to slowly starving to death here? Oh. That belief is why you committed your crime? You. Hey, what about the final dead room? Did you do the Russian roulette too? Let's make history. Unlike Nagito, I only did it once. But <laughs> compared to my battle with Nekomaro, that was mere child's play. Well, you know, after listening to you talk for a while, I'm starting to think that, well, it's also because you unexpectedly admitted your crime without much resistance. Gundam, don't tell me you. You didn't sacrifice yourself for our sake, did you? <laughs> oh, wow. That's what I'm saying, bro. Me and Gundam relationship is flawed, bro. Because if you really sit here, I'm going to talk about it after. No, I can't. I might forget. If you really sit here and think about what Gundam did this trial, going after Nekumaro, Gundam sat back and he watched the type of people that he's dealing with, right? The Hajimes, the Chiakis, the Kazuichis. And he knew if I if I don't do this, if I don't challenge and the this this the system and kill somebody in here, we're all gonna sit here and die. And that's just as bad as me going ahead and killing somebody. That's why he was so offended when they said he went out, Nekomaru went out without a fight. Because he knew he was looking, Gundam was looking for the fight. He wasn't just out here just trying to kill some, he could have killed Miss Sonya and it probably would have went wasteful. It was a, there's a method to his madness. And I think that method is in fact, he went after Nekumaro because he knew Nekumaro had enough heart as a robot. Ooh. Ooh. To accept Gundam challenge. I can't believe you would ask such a foolish question. My name is Gundam Tanaka. History's greatest monster. My cursed existence is feared by all mankind. There's no way I'd sacrifice myself for the sake of you fools. Fame not like in a million, it. not in a billion, not in 10 billion years. In the name of pandemonium, it is impossible. Is that it? <laughs> then I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> now then, let us be rid of this foolish talk. It's about time the fun started. 
<laughs> Monokuma, let us begin. Yes, Almost indeed. threw up. Yay, got it. <laughs> I have prepared a special punishment for the ultimate breeder, Gundam Tanaka. That's why Sonya was on him. Please wait. Look at him, look at her, look at her. I beg of you. Huh? M Miss Sonya. I beg of you. Look, that's the effect of the ultimate breeder right there, y'all. Do not sleep on the ultimate breeder. How pitiful. Sonya. An act as unrefined as stopping a man from going to his death does not befit a noble such as yourself. Gundam! Hmm. Um, it's fine to start for reals, right? Fine. Yes, I do not mind. However... What is it, my four dark devas of destruction? Oh, they're nervous. Are you worried about me? Oh, my feared four dark devas of destruction. That is not like you at all. Oh. However, there is no need to fear. In this world, I am only a temporary visitor. I was simply visiting for a moment, and now that my duty is complete, I must return to the darkness. That is why, until the very end, pride, conceit, courage, insolence, fearful of nothing, daunted by nothing, let us laugh uproariously! <laughs> that is Fuck, I didn't even get to laugh at him. Fuck, man! I shall stick with my evil until the very end! I thought the next click was finna be the. Uh, <laughs> I'm not even finna laugh, because out of respect for him, I'm not gonna laugh without him. Open sesame pandemonium! I shall fill hell with true hell! This is a real psycho. <laughs> 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 Let's give it everything we've got. It's punishment time. Rest in peace, Gundam. We know you ain't resting though. We got pulled by the doodle, the by the doodle lock. What are we looking at? Okay. I don't even want to see it on my channel, but I had to. Got to get these views. <laughs> I do not play this for the views, bro. I play this for y'all. He left him. He's walking towards the stamp. Oh, he said cross my lawn. Oh, no, he drawing some, some foul. I don't know what any of that means, but I feel like he about to survive this somehow. What are we looking at, Gundam? this bro he has the best punishment and he got to go upstairs nigga he should have had demons snatching him down lower bro he's gone you lucky you didn't get bodied i was looking at you the entire trial no no <laughs> right Even after Gundam is gone, and the spirit of his parting words still lingered deep in our chest. Don't give up on life. Did I misunderstand what he meant? Then what's the right thing to do? I don't know. No matter how much I think about it, I don't know if I'll ever be able to answer that. Damn it. Damn it! I'm so pissed off. I need to throw something. D damn it! You all spent so much time worrying about each other. And thanks to that, things ended up like this. You're all f 
full of shit. Every last one of you. But the biggest piece of shit is me. The worst. Damn it. Why am I so weak? Oh. It's such a downer. Clearly. But still. Even though we feel this way, we still got to do our very best. You are right. This time around, we must move forward. We must continue to live and believe in our friends. If not, you are right. Gundam will most likely crawl his way out of hell, and I presume he will be very cross with us. You're right. You're right. We shouldn't just stand here. I mean, it's not like this is over. We s still have to do it. And we still have to finish this. For the sake of our friends who have died, we need to finish this once and for all. So, don't just stand there. Stand up and walk. Move forward. Live. If you don't, everyone who fought and died will have died in vain. We can't allow that. So how long are you guys going to stand around chattering? The class trial is over, so it's okay for you to hurry back over to Jabberwock Island. <laughs> However, the killing school trip will proceed as usual, so make sure you know that. Wait. Hold, hold on. How, how much longer are you going to keep doing this? Seriously, how long is he going to keep doing this? How long is this gonna continue? Now then. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> After feeling down for so long, I finally feel refreshed. Let's hurry back and eat some food. Hey, hey. Hold on a sec. That move shifted is too. That move shift is too damn fast. It's not like that. Well, you know, it's like Gundam and Nekomaru said. <laughs> That's what it means to live, right? Huh. She's certainly something else. <laughs> but seriously, I'm starving. Hey, hey. Then let's go back for now and eat. And then after we're full, let's sleep as much as we want. Right? And then let's do our best again. Yeah, you're right. With this, the class trial has come to an end, and once again, we return to Jabberwock Island. The size of our group has definitely diminished. But despite that, even if it was just the rest of us, we did our best to stay upbeat and have fun together. Of course, our optimism was only superficial. But at that moment, we were able to forget about the dark despair looming before us. However, the only thing I was worried about was him. He wasn't there. He suddenly suddenly disappeared from our sight. Sorry. I knew it was him. <laughs> yep. I'm definitely lucky. I never expected to obtain so many valuable things from a simple game of Russian roulette. <laughs> Thanks to that, I was able to learn the identity of our true enemy. And before everyone else, too. But it's just too funny. I mean, no one could tell that I was lying. There's no way the file had just Hajime's information. Well, I guess they were too busy with other matters. Or maybe they've reached their limit. Regardless, I was saved. Things would get complicated if they found out. <sighs> anyway, I can't forgive this. Damn it. This should never be forgiven. There's no way I can let this run loose. 
I'll be the one who stops this once and for all. Even if it costs me my life. It's obvious. For the sake of hope, I cannot ignore this. I won't let you get away. Oh, I forgot Monokuma about this. Appears. Monokuma has arrived. Who summoned me? Now then. Thanks for coming. What's this? Why, it's the lonely little Megiddo. Are you all alone tonight too? What's the matter? So what's up? Your face looks scary. <sighs> I see. So you can tell. Hmm? Uh, perhaps you found out who the traitor is. <laughs> you know me well. Well. Is what I'd like to say, but unfortunately, I haven't learned that yet. Hmm. I see. So even you don't know, huh? Looks like the final showdown is going to take a little more time. Hello. So why'd you summon me anyway? Were you finally gonna confess your love? Hey. I summoned you because there's something I really need to ask you. It's about... It's about the special prize from the final dead room. Hmm? Oh yeah, what about it? There was information about 16 people in the file I received. Uh-oh, game one. But isn't that weird? Say what? What's weird? You don't even know? Well, there's a traitor from the Future Foundation hiding among us, right? Including that person, the total number of students would be 16, right? Isn't that right? But this file contains documents that were created at Hope's Peak Academy, right? Of course! That's right! I just reused the stuff that the former headmaster spent a lot of time making. But... If this file even contains information about the traitor, was that person also a former student of Hope's Peak Academy? Who knows? <laughs> I wonder. Hey. Could it be? <laughs> Me? Like, Nagito, you're looking kind of suspicious with all this shit, bro. Everyone else already know, like, unless it's Chiaki. Please don't be Chiaki. Is this your doing? Did you slip false information into the file? Were you trying to keep us from learning the traitor's identity by obtaining this information? Hmm? What's wrong with that? If it's my job to heat things up, it's okay if I do something small like that, right? Right? Well... That's not my point. Right? My point is you already know who the traitor is. Hmm? What's wrong with that? You're getting all well, riled up! You're splendidly correct when you say I knew who the traitor was all along. But even though I know who it is, why do you think I ignored it on purpose? Hmm. It's just like Monami after losing her magic stick. The traitor's existence means absolutely nothing to me. <laughs> Their existence means nothing, huh? No, no. Well, that's just how I feel. I'm sure you guys feel somewhat different. After all, that person is the evil future foundation lackey who's putting you guys through this awful stuff. <sighs> hmm. That's not entirely true. I didn't really come here to fight or anything like that. <laughs> Instead, I came here to offer my cooperation, you know. Huh? Cooperation, Nagito. Don't do this, bro. Hey. Your purpose is to fill everyone on this island with despair, right? That's why you intentionally letting the traitor do as they please, right? Yep. I... If that's the case, I might be able to cooperate somewhat too. Right? However, in exchange, I want to know who the traitor is. Hmm. I see. Interesting, very interesting. No, no, no. Obviously, that's a big no, no. Unbelievable. I mean, I want to make everyone in your group feel despair. That includes you, too. Well, well I knew you would say that. Hmm. Besides, I just wouldn't be able to handle the sadness when you inevitably betray me later on. <laughs> just as I thought, you saw right through me. You're right. 
No matter what situation I find myself in, my core way of thinking will never change. In order to create absolute hope that shines brightly, stepladders such as myself and despair exist. <laughs> You're right. You're a true believer of hope after all. I must say that belief reminds me of that person for some reason. My nigga Makoto. Huh? Rem reminds you this whole time like I think I don't know if it's the coat the olive color of the jacket or what but I've had a feeling like this has like Nagito's character has to do with Makoto from the first one I just have zero clue how because these dudes act completely different Makoto act like a brain dead buffoon but he also didn't speak like Nagito speak Nagito act like a mix of like I don't know, Nagito's character is so unlike Makoto, I haven't put the two together, but, Ma but Monokuma saying that is making it seem a lot more possible. Rem reminds you? <laughs> I don't know who you're talking about, but if someone as worthless as me reminds you of some other person, they must be extremely unlucky. Like... But you're just as unlucky, right? I mean, the fact that you're even involved in something like this. <laughs> Nigga, you suck. Wow. Am I? I actually think I'm very lucky. Say what? You don't know? Wouldn't you say that coming across this much despair is a rather rare opportunity? I can't rely on anyone on this island. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> That's why you have to be the one who does it. If I can eliminate despair from this island, I won't be a stepladder anymore. I'll become true hope <laughs> I love when you do that laugh I'll become an existence that could even be called ultimate hope <laughs> the two of you are alike you definitely remind me of him hey hey there's one more thing I want to ask you hmm? see who are you waiting for on this island <laughs> Looks like I'm right again. You're definitely waiting for someone on this island. Is the person you're waiting for already on this island? Hey. Well, answer my question. Th that's... If, if that's the case, if that person is already on this island, <laughs> wouldn't that be exciting? The plot thickens. How many days left? What the heck is going on? Five days sounds like two trials. Probably like a day and night, day and night, somebody dies. Class trial, then the last two. Chapter four, do ultimate robots dream of clockwork? End. Interesting, 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 bro. Real quick, shout out Quincy Sama for letting me know that there is a post or a, a post this game pre Dangerumpa 3. It's like a little series that they dropped that gives you a little bit more backstory as to far as like as far as this universe is considered. I might check that out because they pique in my interest. The more consistently I play, the more I appreciate this game. So yeah, you see I'm back, bro. Like don't don't even hit me with that bullshit, bro. You see I'm back, back better than ever, bro. Main channel return coming soon, bro. Soon. All right, you guys. Well, that does it for the finale of the trial, the fourth trials, trial, <laughs> uh, the fourth chapters trial. Um, very interesting about Gundam, bro. His character. I can see. I can see what they were doing with his character. I, I honestly, I don't see him going out any other way than to go out as still a good guy. Because he technically he got us food. We were going to die in there way faster than if we were at Jabberwocky, Jabberwock Park. But man, all that stuff he was saying about 
letting life pass you by is almost the same as killing some as killing someone it's both blasphemous when it comes to how you're supposed to live your life it's essentially you taking your own life and what sense would that make when you have such amazing potential in front of all of us right like we all have gifts that don't let me go there bro because i get up here and i start i start talking bro and pull out my bible my holy bible <laughs> start reading all scriptures but no if you enjoyed this series and want to see it continue make sure that you slap a like on this video make sure that you live your life bro that's what i really want to say nobody can live your life better than you don't let fear everything gundam said on his way out don't don't fear no man that bleed the same as you don't let anybody detract you from your own goals that you that you set for yourself don't let nobody make you feel a way about your own goals if anybody is doing this that should let you that should be a clear indicator that they have zero going on for themselves they should not be as invested into your life or even more invested in your life than you are of your own life take control of your own shit and be the best you out there Subscribe if you are new. I love each and every one of you, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Gundam a real nigga, but he's still demonic, bro. We go to church, and then we can be friends.